Hello Scorpios! Happy Friday! Hope you're doing well. Get ready to do your reading. Um, it's been about a week since I've touched base with you and I'm really sorry for that. It's just been busy after the new year. So I hope that you're doing well. Okay, so let's get into a reading and um, hope that all of you are doing great. So don't forget to leave me some comments. Let me know how you've been doing. And thank you for all my loyal supporters out there in the big blue world. I love all of you and everything and I hope all your new year is starting off right but I had a great feeling today I don't know why but let me see what's going on so I wanted to pull out my angel cards and just see what's going to happen here okay so I'm going to pull three angel cards for Scorpio Moon Sun Moon Venus Rise and please angels so let me know in the comments how your new year is going let me know what is happening in your life okay so let's get Two more cards, please. Show for Scorpio. Oh, that one wanted to jump out. Oh, flirt card. I haven't seen that in a while, Scorpio. What are you? Who are you flirting with, Scorpio? <laughs> oh, that one just wanted to come out. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take these. I said three, but I'm going to take four to Angel said, so thank you, Angels. All right, so let's let your friends help you. Okay. Um, heart to heart conversations. Uh, here, let me see here. And then you have tr trust. Mm -hmm. And you have flirt here, Scorpio. Okay, let's get this party started. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. Like I said, I had this really great intuition about how you're feeling. And um, today's Friday, and it's this January the 7th, I believe. Um, you know, when I'm looking at this, the, let your friends help you. I think there's some things here that, and this could, friends could be also like a family member too, okay? So there's something here you're having a lot of conversations with with a friend of yours um, about someone else, okay? And I think you're starting to flirt a little bit here. You're starting to open your heart up, which is great to see, and the trust of you know, before, you know, the trust was broken from this past person and all these things that were going on. I just think you're starting to renew yourself. You're starting to feel a rebirth. You're starting to feel the trust yourself as well. Okay. So let's see what the angel gods and spirits have, have to say for us. And um, to let us know where you're at. Don't forget, if you click that like, subscribe button as you're listening to this video, it helps me on the YouTube channel hurt my hand a little bit so I can't shuffle as good <laughs> so um just picking up something too heavy but anyway um thank you for all the love and everything that all of you have given me I um, mean yeah, go back and watch the new year's video and um past videos okay for December so this is a brand new year Scorpio so this was for your flirt it looks like you will be or you are starting to flirt or open up yourself to flirt with people because you're starting to trust yourself again that you're starting to understand that um what the past is the past and things that went on in the past is not you know not your fault and you realize that it's time to move on it's time to move head forward and I think you're having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself and you're coming to this new, just this new brand new feeling. That's what I'm getting from you. Um, let your friends help you. I think you're just trying to tell your friend about this new person you're going to meet or you will be meeting. And um, some of you still might be closed off, but that's okay. But it's not, remember, this is not time stamped. Look at that four ones here. Uh, things, you're not, this is not time stamped, so this can happen at any time, okay? But I do try to keep you up to. Star card, star card wish who somebody's wishing for you, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles. I told you this is feeling good right here. Okay, wow, Scorpio here. Okay, and after this betrayal, see, it's time for a new beginning here. Um, <clears throat> you have the four of, you know, you have the four of wands. Talking about stability, new family life, new career, and you're going to get everything you wish for here, Scorpio. It could be a new job. Everything you're manifesting, everything you're thinking about, wishing about, is going to come true here. And I keep telling you to manifest. And you got this justice card here, too. And so when I'm looking at the justice card here with the, you know, you're talking about, you know, you're believing in yourself. You're believing what's 
you, you know, it's this energy where you know what's right and what's wrong, and you know what happened to you in the past, but the justice for you here, I feel like it's more of a closure. It's kind of, you come into this terms of closure, that you know you need to move on, you need to trust yourself, and it's all about you now. And the Queen of Pentacles here is telling me that, you know, Queen of Pentacles is all about growth and um, taking care of herself, loving herself, and also with the Pentacles, you're talking about growing into something fantastic here with the Star card. Okay, so in this new opportunity here, a new beginnings is going to start up with somebody, or. Your, um, could be, you know, a job, love, both, because you have the star card here, too, in between um, two positive cards, okay? So all this seems very positive here, Scorpio. So the star card, so what are you wishing on? And the feeling is here, you're, you're starting to understand, you're getting your own closure, because the person in the past did not give you closure. And somehow, you have met, I want to say you have met somebody that's like a friendly kind of, it's not like a relationship or anything, but it's a, fr a great friendship that's blossom, a blossoming that into something great. Okay, so um, let's see here. What sort of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Tell us what the Scorpio, what's in store for Scorpio, angels, God, spirit? What does Scorpio need to know? As you know, I don't read the future tense, but I'm showing here your energies have changed. I think between this new year, you started off the new year with an understanding here that you got, you deserve the best here. And you're not going to be, oh my gosh, that card came up again. You see what I'm saying? That was on the bottom of the deck I showed you earlier. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're realizing this, this, this is the end of that, this mess. You did not want to go back to it. You're not going back to it. You, you accept what happened. You accept it and... It hurts you so bad to grieve and process, but you're recovering from this, okay? So I get that energy where, yeah, this, it really did, is a very painful situation you went through, but you're starting in the Ten of Swords is more um, on this level. What I'm seeing is, you know, you, you know what you deserve the best now. You don't deserve this energy anymore. You're not going um, back to that. So you have this new kind of like allotment. Um, you have this kind of enlightenment feeling where, you know, this is my life I'm dealing with. I'm, i got to be happy here. i got to do something with myself. It's kind of like that. And you're, but there is some people here, in here. There's a page of wands, so somebody's going to be sending you a message, and you have the moon card in reverse. Um, you're kind of coming out of this darkness. You are Scorpio, and I'm really happy to hear that. Um, you're coming out of this darkness, and that's why I said you're getting your own closure. It's you know, possible you were wanting that before, but now you're starting to see the Justice card here. You know what's fair to you and what you deserve and what you the best with. But connecting it to that Moon card, you're over the BS. You're just like, whew, I'm just glad I'm out of that mess. I'm out of this situation. I'm not. I'm, you're coming out of that trauma or that. Uh, P PTSD feeling that depression that all that those things is start to kind of you're starting to cleanse yourself you're starting to uh, see the light again and who you are and what you want in, for your life here okay, in the bottom of the deck you have the eight of wands so we're gonna see that it shows back up again now this card was meant for you here because it's on the bottom deck and it flipped out so it is time for a new beginning here Scorpio. A lot of you have been struggling, and I get it. But you can't stay in that stuck energy for the rest of your life. You know that, right? So I see you here getting your own closure. There's a two of pentacles. Okay. So let me see. I'm going to clarify another deck with the two of pentacles. Okay, let me draw the spirits for the two of pentacles. Please clarify that, please. All right. I'm not going to take that card. It fell off on the bottom, but let's see. For the Two of Pentacles, what Scorpio need to know for the Two of Pentacles? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Wow, oh, there's the Tower Moment card. Hmm, let me get one more. For the Tower card, please. The Juggling card again. What is this about, Scorpio? What is this about? I'm going to come back to this deck in a minute. But let me finish off this part. Um... Yeah, you're just, you're just, um, 
I think you're, that's why I said, I think this is all about closure and moving on and new beginnings because you're, you're juggling cards here twice, okay? You're trying to like, you know, I know this happened to me, but I know I can't stay there. And this is all about making decisions too. And this is called about after this tower moment that needed to happen, this juggling part of you is starting to see the other side to it where before it was something that was really devastating for you to juggle. Like, it, you know, before the tower fell, you know, you were all in your emotions. It was just bouncing back and forth, happy, sad, upset, crying, happy, sad, crying, happy, sad, crying. And this tower moment came, and once you kind of cleared out of that, you were getting the rainbow decision here. You're starting to come to your cleansing of who you are, cleaning your heart, cleaning your soul, and starting to see that this was meant to happen. This person was not right for you. And I think this is what you're seeing. This person that you look back on and say, wow, I really loved that person at one time, and I, but I, I can't do it again. Look, independent happiness. Wow, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. And this is all about being independently happy by yourself. Um, doing what's best for you. Getting your own closure. Making your money. All the wishing. And somebody could be wishing for you too. Because I do see here, this is somebody that's going to be very, very good for you. Okay? That's going to come later in your life. If, it, if it's not in the life right now, they're going to come later on. But I do see this being very positive, very open, very um, honest with yourself. Okay. Look what came out. Eight of Wands. You've seen that, right? Scorpio, do you see this? Okay, th I can't make this up. Because you have the Eight of Wands that was, that was on the bottom of the deck and the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is some changes here. There's some serious changes. Some type of... Woo, angels, thank you for talking to me. Um, your independent happiness and changes is going to come to you. That you don't, you're not even realizing how fast this is going to come to you. Alright? But you got to get out. Here's your stuck energy. Now, this is your other person. This is not you. This is definitely not you. This person's trying to think about you, uh, thinking about you at night. They're not sleeping. Um, they're thinking about you, about what they did, and how they're just not miserable, okay? And they're seeing you moving on. They're seeing that you're happy. They're seeing that you are making best decisions for you now that don't include them. And you're getting to, on top of your game with your money here. You came out of that dark place, that that darkness to come back to the star, to the brightness, to the sun. and the, You know, the sun is a... A star so this is all those you know ba great wishes around the sun okay so the sun is about bringing you into happiness here a lot of happiness in the upcoming so this tower moment that happened was meant for you to happen the angels and the universe did not want you to stay with this person anymore because they did not but you learned a lot of lessons from this okay a lot of lessons came from this and you learn how to stand on your own two feet you learn how to put all the love back into you. You learn how to, um, you did that. You know how to get through hard times. Yeah, and it taught you too how to be very mature in who you are, understanding yourself. There's the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Now again, the cards of when they're in reverse, they can flip to the upright. Okay, so. When I see this card here beside this one, he, this person is having like a very dark, they're in the dark place now. They're in this energy where um, they can't offer you anything, Scorpio. I mean, they can't even come back and say, they can't even apologize to you because they, they feel like the apology is worthless. Because if they come back and apologize to you, you're, going to under, you're going to, not going to accept it, okay? You're not going to take their, their pity party anymore. But this person's, that past person has learned a lesson too. Wow, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. And you have the third, you know, it could be a third party. But I do see this more like a celebration thing beside the Queen of Cups. But let me see what follows it. For the Three of Cups, please, let me clarify that. Please clarify the Three of Cups for me. Okay, this one wants to pop out. Look at 
got to work hard. You could be, um, you're thinking about your future here. You're celebrating your new life, your new future. Okay. Let me finish two more cards in this deck, and we're moving to that other deck. Let's see. Um, for Scorpio, for the Three of Cups, please. Show me the cards for Three of Cups. Following the Three of Cups. Yeah, this is a great, great feeling for you here. You, know, you had to walk away from some someone, right? And were they walked away from you too? It could have been both. Because it's under this person who's feeling miserable. Both of you could have walked away from the situation and didn't want to kind of you parted ways, but you didn't get your closure that was needed. Now again, this could be for a cross watcher dealing with a Scorpio that done them wrong. So you just take it as um, what fits you, okay? So um, here, I see my dog sleeping. <laughs> they always want to come in here and tarot. Oh, you must have heard me. Okay, and there's the temperance card, finding new balance, cleansing that soul, cleansing that heart, cleansing all that, that energy. But you are still maybe having some blockage here about not allowing someone new to come in your life. So in, the problem is here with the trust card too, that when someone comes, you go and the per, that person is going to make you feel at ease. The person, you're not going to have to be so defensive or so angry or so bitter or anything like that, Okay. So let's see here. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's see what's coming. Let's see. Show me the current energy for Scorpio. So right now, Scorpio, just to recap this this part, is that you are starting to have this um alignment, like I said, that this new whole um it's like somebody took the blinds off your eyes, a new lifestyle, new beginning. New happiness. You want, this is abundance here. Now I'm not just talking about financially. Even though you have the Queen of Pentacles up there, you also getting that Queen of Luck cups here. Um, someone is seeing you as a very valuable quality person that they can see themselves with. Okay, if you know who I'm talking about, let let me know in the comments. You're really celebrating this because you had to walk away from this person to find your own self, to find your balance, and clean your heart from this. It's a betrayal. And it's, and then you did that. Okay, I'm surprised I haven't seen the strength card. But but it is showing a very, very positive love. Like it's um, the person from before was not meant for you, Scorpio. And when I say temperance here with the angel wings, it's kind of like a, it was kind of like a force with the, the tower moment. They pulled in to pull you out of that mess to balance your life back, to put you back in a good path, a good direction, to put you in this flowing energy of feeling good again because your independent happiness and celebrating your life that you have. Very beautiful, Scorpio. Okay, this is all about you. Um, this is your time. I've, uh, 2022 or right now, well, I'm not saying for the rest of the year, but depends on what you decide <clears throat> on free will. But right now, if um, you're you got a lot of good things going for you, and I think you just you're just start, starting to feel that that things are starting to look up. There's like this light at the end of the tunnel. There's a you know new way, a new pathway coming building for you. There's the Eight of Wands again. I'm telling you, Scorpio. There's the Eight of Wands double confirmation again. Okay, let's see. Okay, show me what Scorpio needs to know. Angel guys and spirits, show me what Scorpio needs to know. Wow, there's the Death card. You need to, you're transforming to a new you. You ended that cycle. You are now in this awakening process. You're going through, you're coming out of that, um, the energy of, you know, you're just seeing your changes, what you need to do for yourself here. You're seeing all these changes that you need to take care of to become a better you. And the Eight of Cups here, you are, or somebody here, um, this might be your past person too, might be want to come back into your life because it's showing up right here. Um, as the Nine of Swords, they could be trying, they 
been out trying to find other people, but nobody can match you. So no one can be on your level. So that's why they're feeling really bad about trying to get back into your life here. Trying to be a little bit, you know, three pentacles. They're trying to figure out an idea how to get you back. Okay. Show me about Scorpio's per past person. Scorpio's past person, what are they thinking? But they can't get you back. And they are just now starting to have this understanding that, wow, I remember Scorpio used to chase me. Scorpio used to call me. Scorpio used to text me all the time, try to get me to talk to her or him. And I just, and now they just disappeared. This is what this person's thinking. They feel like you just disappeared on them and you're not, you definitely don't want them back. But because you got it going on, Scorpio, if you got, you, the doorway has been open for you. Because you have learned these lessons and ended a cycle. And all these beautiful things are going to come to you. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Cups in Reverse. And the Ten of Cups. <coughs> now the Ten of Cups. Um, see, there's a manifesting card on the bottom of the deck. I told you you're manifesting. So here, be manifesting, Scorpio. No matter what. Manifest yourself to your heart desire. Because all these good things are coming to you right now. You need to go ask for it right now, okay? Go write it down. Pray to the angels and the um, gods to help you maneuver you on the right path and um, to help you. But your person does kind of, you know, but or or this could be a person that's really, you know, like I said up here, that was flirt, you're flirting with. They're thinking about, you know what, I'm leaving all those people behind. I found Scorpio. I found the one I want to be with. And they're just, and but it could be long distance here because... It seems like they're tra they would have to travel to come see you, and or they have to come to be near you. So this could be somebody long distance, or um, but they they see you in a good way. They see you as the Queen of Cups and the love, and you're financially stable, and you're happy, and you're doing everything right for you. And the Ten of, Pen of Pentacles here is like this commitment that this person's really wanting. Um, that you know, it's kind of like they don't want to, because I see here. With the four of cups in reverse, it's like no regrets here. You know, there's there's no more sadness. There's no more, um, no more rejection feeling. That's what it was. The closure was coming because you felt so rejected from this past person that made you feel so unloved. Okay, and this is why. Okay, you have the ten of cups in reverse. You felt like this person didn't. You know, you gave all and they didn't give you anything. But manifest here, Scorpio. Okay, so don't forget that card. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to get two more. So manifest. That's what the, the angels are telling you. Oh, look at that. Strength card. There you go. I told you. We're, I'm surprised the strength card didn't come out. There it is. You're being very, very, very wise. Very mature. I see you being mature in your own love, in your own heart here. I'm not, let's just fall on the floor. You just saw me reach down to get it. The lover's card. I'm telling you. And that's another, make a decision. It's about a decision here. There's moon card in reverse too. So I do see here, Scorpio, that you have wonderful, this is a very, very good reading. And you have a very wonderful, about a future here that you want to change. So that's your center focus. You want to change your future to the better and to bring in all these good things to you. And once you close out the cycle, or you could have already, you're going to start seeing this. This a spiritual enlightenment, a renewness in your heart, the cleansing of your heart. You're going to be free from all the burdens that this past person put on you. All this pain and all the suffering you did. It's going to be, it's gone or it will be gone. Okay. Soon. So, but I do think you are um, starting to communicate and you're starting for those who are out trying to date. There's somebody here that really wants to get to know you. Um, they're coming off as a friend. And, you know, friendly basis, but they don't want you to put them in a friend zone. <laughs> they don't want you in a friend zone because this is what showed up. <laughs> friends don't do this, right? Well, I guess some people do with friends with benefits, but it's another story. But this is about lovers, and they see you as this wise, strong, mature woman or man, and they want to be with you. Okay, this is coming up. Now, with that being said, this is what, this is the potential of what you can get, Scorpio. But let me tell you, 
if you are held it, but here, when I look at the Queen of Swords here to remind me, you having some blockage of yourself. Um, this could still be bitterness. Could, you're blocking it. You know, you're blocking your own who you are. Um, if you're still in that energy, please release it. Get your own closure. Anything from the past, you need to just, you know, clean it, clean it, clean it, clean it, because you cannot get to the next stage of your life um, of abundance and all the great things that's coming, that's sitting here waiting for you. If you're still doing that blockage, you need to let it go, okay? Get your own closure, move on. Um, understand what the tower moment meant. It means that you are going down this other path, of uh, this other path here that's going to lead you to something great, okay? So, um, I want you to understand that. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. Uh, but you do have another person. It could be the same person, but I really feel like it's a, per a person that you are interested in. Um, well, from your point of view, I feel like it's more like energy. You, you're trying to start off as friends first and then see where it goes. But this, the person that has interest in you, they are seeing you as somebody that they want to be with, like sexually and romantically here with the Queen of Cups. They just think you're just one of the greatest things that walk they have not been able to find. And they have been trying, but they they felt like they feel like they have finally found you. Okay, they finally found you, and um, and they're trying to make a decision because, like I said, this could have been a long distance, and this person's going to have to decide. You know, if you're long distance, or if you meet someone long distance, they're going to have to decide of how can they get to you. How can they? How can they be with you? Okay, trying to make that decision, like what factors. What road should they take? Should they leave you behind? Um, but they know they can't do that now because they found you. Okay? Scorpio, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The great ways. The first reading I have done after New Year's. So, yeah. And in this person here, whoever this is, everything's going to be peacefully smooth talking. It's going to be like you've known this person for a long time. It's going to be like a um, energy of easy. You're going to be laughing with this person. You're going to have a good time with this person. And st stability. But this person can offer you a lot too. Okay? They can offer you a lot for this commitment. But that's up to you. Your free will is always on you. But Scorpio... <laughs> If you're seeing any of this in your life right now, please leave it in the comments and let me know. And tell me how you feel, what you're thinking, and um, and any, you know, but there's fast here. It's double fast and independent happy. You're already happy. And I think once you came to that part where you're happy now, all these things are going to start coming back. The the energy, the the feelings of love again, like maybe I can date someone or... Maybe I could just socialize. You know, you're taking it slow, but at the same time, you want to feel good with yourself um, in your decision-making here. So that's why I said before you were heartbroken over that tower moment, but now you're kind of like, oh, maybe if I do this, I'd get that. You know, maybe this will work for me. Maybe this won't. Now, this don't also mean about love. We're talking about money, too. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, so that can mean the finance, a new job, a new career direction with that will of fortune so whatever is at your heart right now whatever you wish for is going to come true okay whatever you wish for you're going to have to say it out loud go manifest it write it down in your journal like five times each um type it in your phone and send it back to yourself email it to yourself you know whatever you have to do to manifest it and just write in the email you know i will get a new job i will want a great relationship with someone that, that's going to appreciate me and love me and bring peace and happiness to me you know whatever it is that wish for it I want to better my life I don't like my job I want to wish for that but you can have it right now Scorpio so don't let this chance pass you by okay we don't know as Scorpios <laughs> when that opportunity of manifesting and the opportunities of abundance and the opportunities of love and um it's going to come back again but you do see now you get your own closure here. And you're I hope that you're flirting with someone really because you deserve that. Flirt with somebody in, in the trust. You feel like this is a person that possibly you can trust. But you can't get that if you're still dealing with but I think here with this card here, 
Um, you're coming out of that darkness, and I'm just pulling some cards on the bottom of the deck. You have here the Two of Cups, and you love here. And that could be a reunion, but you're coming out of that darkness, and you saw, you see a lot of things about yourself, and you start to become, like, energetic, and like, yeah, I'm, I know it didn't work out. Sometimes I regret it, but you know what? I gotta let this past go because I gotta, I gotta go on my future. I gotta go on with my life. I gotta move forward. I gotta get happy and get everything I want. Okay, All right? Because life is short. So you're coming out of that darkness for sure, and you're getting that new love. Or, but if it's a reconciliation for this new person, this past person, you know, people don't change. Okay, it's really, really hard for people to change who they are. So I hope that you go for the new love and not go backwards in the, to the past. All right, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you. Don't forget to leave a comment and like this, like the video, just for my time and help me on the YouTube channel and help get, build the Scorpio community. And let me know how you feel. Okay. Thank you, Scorpios. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.